Now today I'm going to tie this fly here. It's what I like to call my super quill. As you can see there, it's got a quill body and it's got a mixture of red and grizzle and it seems to be a lethal combination. So I'm tying it today on the size 16. And uh, nice light size 16 dry fly hook. And I'm tying in with black 80 thread. So start off as usual. Nice bit of black thread back as far as the barb of the hook, assuming you're using the barbed hook. If not, you can just guess it. So the tail, as I said, was made from red and grizzle, a mixture of both. So what I do is I take a few fibers of grizzle. half a dozen or so like that and the same with the red about the same amount of each and that's the red when I say red I mean red game so mix them both together and that's what we have now the tail needs to be approximately the length of the body. So a couple of loose turns around and then tighten down and that gives you your tail. Now I've got to trim just the front of this here. Now I create a bed of black thread again. and back down to the tail. Now, what I'm going to use for the quill is the center stem of this hackle here. Now this was dyed orange, but it doesn't necessarily have to be orange. You can use any color you like as long as you create a quill body. So you just strip off the feather fiber. And there's your quill there. You just cut that there. Now if you have quills that are extremely dry, you can soak them in water overnight and they'll be much easier to use. I haven't done that, so I'm hoping that this one will hold together. Well, before I actually put the quill on, what I do is I put a tiny amount of hard as nails varnish just on the bed of thread and that will secure the um, the quill because they are delicate enough in any case tie it in there we are now and we create our quill body The dyed orange quill works particularly well during a blueing olive hatch for some reason. And tie that in. And that's the tail and body complete. Trim off the waist. Bend a little bit of tread there for the hackles. As I said, we're going to use red and grizzle. And uh, I use genetic hackles because they're good. Nothing else seems to be as good, so they cost a little more, but you get the results. So, tie in the red first. It makes no difference which one you tie in first. the red first and then you strip a small piece from the end exposing the, the central stem and that's the part you tie in now you wind on a grizzle about 
three turns with Genetic Ackles. That seems to do the trick. I'll tie it in well just in case it might escape at some point. And then sometimes it will break off. Yes. Now the red you mix through. My sound in my camera is playing up, so um, I'm having to add on this little bit. Um, basically, uh, where I started to act up, I was just starting to whip finish the fly. I do a four or five turn whip finish, and then what I do is I apply a little um, of the hard as nails varnish to the thread, and then I give it another four or five turn whip finish. And that secures it and makes it ultra secure. And um, basically, that's it. That's the fly. Never be without it in my fly box, so give it a try, I think you'll be surprised.